Um, my name is Jennifer Mahar, and mm -hmm. I am the Director of Park Stewardship here at the Fairmont Park Conservancy. It's a fairly new program. Um, the park program began at the Pennsylvania Horticultural Society in 1993, so we're celebrating our 20th year. And Parks and Rec, of course, continues to be the landowner and kind of the decision maker on a lot of projects. And then we decided to move the people part, the stewardship part, to the conservancy. Um, and a lot of that is because of the amazing work that we did at Hunting Park, which uh, was really the, the game changer for the conservancy. Um, it's the first time that the agency put in large-scale fiscal improvements, millions of dollars, but also built a friends group. Because what we've learned over the years is that you could put in all the physical improvements that you want and all the gardens that you want and all the play equipment that you want, but if you don't have people on the ground in the neighborhood to take care of it, it's not going to thrive. The backbone of the program is really the volunteer friends groups. So there's about 100 volunteer friends groups throughout the city. Pretty much for almost every neighborhood park, there's a volunteer friends group that helps take care of it. They're really the kind of the backbone of, of the park system to help, to help parks and recs, you know, make sure that the parks are clean, safe, and, and ready to use. Generally, groups start up with some basic concerns around maintenance or safety. So if the lights aren't working, if there's, um, you know, dead trees or dangerous trees in the park, or, you know, the benches are missing slats and you can't sit on them, or the playground's, you know, falling apart, generally it's around, uh, you know, that kind of physical challenge. And we do everything in conjunction with Parks and Rec, so we're constantly <laughs> communicating with them about um, about issues and problems. And um, I think they, they respond more quickly to a park that has a friends group, because they know that somebody's out there trying to take care of it and is invested. I mean, it could be McPherson Square. I mean, the big problem is heroin needles um, and prostitution. In uh, September, we partnered with Parks and Rec and Kaboom, and we built a new playground. Um, thanks to uh, the Flyers and Wells Fargo, I believe, were the two donors. So there's a brand new playground there. Uh, Gorgas Park in Roxborough, the neighborhood neighbors got together in 1993 to 5 because it was um, known as Pill Hill because um, the drug use was so bad. And now it's one of the most beautiful parks in the city. You know, it's the small squares, the Rittenhouse, Dickinson Square, Jefferson Square, those, you know, kind of small, really neighborhoody. Um, green spaces that I think are really the heart and soul of the park system, and they're all they're all a little bit different because it's you know it's a city of neighborhoods and so the parks are made up of you know unique characteristics just like the neighborhood.